Welcome to Shield Stravaganza, where we're going to be talking about every single one of the Arduino shields that we carry here at Sparkfun Electronics. On this table, I've got 50 different shields, and we're going to talk about each and every one individually. We're not going to cover them in great detail, but we're going to go over them just so you get a general idea of how they work. Um, this is part one, so if you want to check the description for the other parts of the video, you can check the rest of that out. And also, we're going to be linking to each individual shield, so you can go to the website and find out more about each one. Let's get started. Here is the XP shield. The XP shield is a really easy way to connect your XPs to an Arduino. It has a nice little XP header right there. We've broken out each one of the individual pins for the XP, and we even have a nice little prototyping area. There is also a switch, which allows you to disconnect the UART from the XP, so when you program, you can actually not interfere with the XP itself. This is the color LCD shield. The color LCD shield lets you have a really nice graphical user interface for your Arduino. It has a LCD screen that is 128 by 128 pixels and is color. This is the same screen that was found on an old um, Nokia 6100 cell phone to give you an idea. Um, it also has three buttons there at the bottom that you can program to do whatever you want. This is the monster motor shield. The monster motor shield is really nice for driving much larger motors than you could traditionally drive with a standard shield. It can handle up to about 30 amps, although 15 amps is a little bit more of a better rating. And it has two headers over here that you can connect to like a screw terminal block for the um, heavy duty wiring on motors. And you can even apply power over here for an external power supply. This is the danger shield kit. It comes in individual components and when you solder it together, you get this. It has these nice big slide potentiometers. It has a few buttons. It has a um, seven segment display and a couple of LEDs and other things. Danger shield is kind of like this all in one prototyping board that you can adjust knobs, press these buttons. It has a little buzz it even has a cap sense pad that you can press for a touch sense. It's a really interesting board that gives you a lot of different functionality. Here we've got the Wixel Shield. It comes unpopulated like this, but does come with all the different headers and a little push button. The Wixel board is a great way to integrate a Wixel into an Arduino. Quite simply, the Wixel is a small little um, wireless device that you can have two of them talk to each other, send information, send sensor information back and forth, and this board allows you to use the Wixel with an Arduino. This is the RFM22 shield. The RFM22 shield is a very simple wireless shield that uses the RFM22 module. It has a nice little prototyping area right there, and we do actually have a nice library to be able to use this. So if you're looking for a simple, inexpensive wireless communication between two different Arduinos, check out the RFM22 shield. This is the Elescudo DOS. The Elescudo DOS is a really great way to control EL wire. We have eight different headers over here that connect directly to your EL wire, and we have a couple headers right there that connect directly to your inverter. Plug this shield on and use very simple commands to turn on and off, blink, flash, and do all those sorts of stuff with your EL wire. This is the Gameduino. The Gameduino turns your Arduino into basically a video arcade machine. It has a VGA port and an audio jack. With the provided software and code on the website, you can start programming your own arcade style video games. This is the Mux Shield from Mayhew Labs. Plug this into your Arduino and you get 48 digital inputs and outputs. They have these three pin headers that give you five volt ground and your input and output pin. This is the Joystick Shield Kit. The Joystick Shield Kit comes with all these buttons, this joystick, and the headers. When you assemble everything, you get a nice little controller. It has a joystick on one side that has a push button, and then you also get up, down, left, right on the other side. It makes a great controller for robots, among other things. The Easy VR Shield allows you to add simple voice voice commands to your next project. Snap on the shield, use the included microphone, and then you can start using voice commands to control your robot or whatever else. It even has a nice little interface where you can learn different commands. You can have it for passwords, all sorts of different things. If you want to do voice control, check out the Easy VR Shield. This is the Mini FET Shield and is one of the few shields that we have that works directly with the Pro Mini Arduinos that we have. The Mini FET Shield lets you control eight different outputs up to 0.6 amps. So if you need to control a little bit more powerful devices with your Pro Mini, check out the Mini FET Shield. Here we've got the PWM Shield. A normal Arduino only gives you a few PWM pins to deal with. The PWM shield actually gives you up to 16, and you can even daisy chain these with the output to get as many PWM pins as you need. Here is the Transmogra shield. When the Arduino Leonardo came out, it was incompatible with a lot of shields because it had a different pinout on the SPI and the I squared C. This shield fixes that. If you use this as a go-between between, between a Leonardo, it'll fix the problem and you can start using it with all your favorite shields. This is the Mega Proto Shield. Chances are if you have an Arduino Mega, you're gonna want a prototyping shield to go with it. The Mega Proto Shield has all these headers, 
few resistors, a couple LEDs, and a push button, and it makes it really easy to start a project on the Arduino Mega. This is the RFID Evaluation Shield. It's made to work with the SM130 RFID module that works at 13.56 megahertz, which is a little different than the standard RFID cards. This works with the MyFair cards, has a nice little prototyping area, and even has an XB header. This is the voice box shield. The voice box shield uses the SpeakJet text-to-speech chip and allows your Arduino to talk. It even has a nice little prototyping area and a headphone jack. 